Hi, my name is Miranda. I am a fish biologist here at the Center for Watershed Sciences, and this is the Wheel of Misfortune. The wheel was originally designed and created by the Department of Fish and Wildlife as a tool for educational outreach programs. On the wheel, we have a different color to represent each life stage of a salmon. We have orange for eggs, yellow for fry, green for smolt, blue for adult, and red for spawner. And the reason why they're proportioned this way is because it demonstrates how vulnerable a salmon is at that particular life stage. So you'll notice that it's mostly yellow for fry, and that is because that is when salmon are particularly vulnerable and during their lifespan, even though they are pretty vulnerable at every single life stage. They're a little bit more so here. Um, at the Center for Watershed Sciences, we're not only a research institution, but we also are involved in a lot of educational outreach programs. And we use tools like the Wheel of Misfortune here to help demonstrate how hard it is for a salmon in the wild and to talk about salmon conservation. So to do an example of what a, a kid would do on a field trip is we would give the wheel a spin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got a spawner. That hardly ever happens. And so we go over here to the one door that is actually happy, hooray, salmon, uh, successfully spawned. And that is the best for fortune on the mis of the misfortunes that we could possibly have on our board of salmon fates. And so it's tools like this that really help a young budding scientist understand salmon conservation in an easy and fun way. Now we're gonna look at some more examples from the Wheel of Misfortune. So here's number one. Oh no, eggs were covered in silt and suffocated. Poor salmon needed food, but was unable to locate some. It died of starvation. Swam past the striped bass and was immediately devoured. Unfortunately, no one gave the salmon a map of the delta. Now it's lost forever. Adult thought it was going to eat a tasty anchovy lunch, but was instead captured by an angler. When it comes to salmon conservation, a lot of focus tends to be on dam removals or access to spawning ground, when really salmon need help at every single life stage. And instead of just focusing on one or two life stages over here, we really need to focus on every single one in order to complete the picture. And when we do that, then we're hopefully we'll see the numbers that we want to see, which is just more salmon in the rivers and in the ocean. And so why is salmon conservation even important? Well, the reason why is because, you know, we as consumers like to eat salmon. And also salmon fishing industry is really important to our economy. And plus, not letting a species go extinct is just the right thing to do. So what can you do to help salmon conservation? One is you can be an informed consumer. Make sure you're eating salmon that has been sustainably harvested. And then another thing you can do is just get educated. Look at your local research institutions and see if they have any programs that you can get involved in and just in general learning a little bit more about the salmon life cycle. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this, you can click on the link down below and help us support more educational outreach opportunities and research endeavors for the Center of Watershed Sciences. Thank you.